Hi, it's Tina here again. Welcome to your first real bridge lesson. Today we are actually going to learn how to start the auction. Last week we learned, we did a bit of an introduction and I'll just recap some of the things that we learned. Okay, so the rank of the suits. No trumps are top, they score the best. Then spades, hearts, the majors, are followed by diamonds and clubs, which are the minors. So every time you make a bid, you've got to make sure that it's higher than the previous bid, just like any auction. Okay, secondly, we learned that an ace was worth four, king three, queen two, and the jack is one. All these cards, picture cards if you like, we used to call them as kids, they're called the honour cards. And you need a certain number of honour cards, obviously, to make a bid. Okay, just to recap, you count the whole hand, so starting from the left, one, and four's five, and three are eight, four are twelve, three for the king makes it fifteen, and one for the jack is sixteen. Great hand. Okay, when you begin the auction, you've got to begin at a certain level, just like any auction. You do not go off to an auction to buy a car and bid one dollar. You wouldn't get far, you'd be laughed at. So we have, we have 13 available tricks, okay? And the auction starts at the one level. Confusingly, this doesn't mean you've only got to make one trick, it means you have to make seven. So as we don't talk about the first six, that's the book, we start with one more than half, if you like. So the lowest bid, and you'll see above, I've got the order of the suits and no trumps, so it's no trumps, followed by spades, hearts, diamonds and clubs, which is the lowest. The lowest bid you can make is one club, which means you have to make seven tricks. I know that's very annoying, but it's just the way it happens around the world. So you have to add six to the bid you make. So one club actually means you're going to make seven tricks. The highest bid is seven no trumps, which means adding six, you have to make all 13 tricks. Now you're unlikely to do this very often in your bridge career, but you may do more often than I expect. It's exciting when you do it. That's called a grand slam. Okay, ending the auction, like any auction, going, going, gone. If you look at the auction above, it's one club from south, one heart, because hearts are higher than clubs. One no trump, because that's the highest of all. Pass, 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 going, going, gone. The final contract will be one no trump, and you have to make seven tricks. Okay, so what do we need to make the first bid? Like I said before, you cannot start an auction at any old level. And to make the very first bid, which is what we're talking about today, you need to have between 12 and 19 high card points, HCP, high card points, and any bid you make shows at least four cards in that suit. All right. So having decided that you've got enough to bid, which suit are we going to open? Well, what suit would you like to beat trumps? This is what you're looking at. Pretty easy one this time, I think. The, the suit I want to beat trumps anyway is the spade suit because it's my longest suit. So that's your first rule. Open your longest suit. Now, sometimes you don't have a longer suit. Sometimes you've got two four-card suits, not one. And you can't just say, well, I think I'll open spades because I like spades better than hearts because partner will never know that. Partner will know the rules that you're using. And later on when we've learnt more, you'll see why it's important. For the moment, you open the lower-ranked four-card suit. So you open one heart because hearts are a lower um, ranking than spades. So lower ranking four card suit. It's the opposite when it's two five card suits. Think high five. Okay, so low four, high five. Here you open the higher ranking five card suit, which is of course spades. So now we're going to open one spade. So here's your summary. Open the longest suit, open the lower ranking four card suit, and the higher ranking five card suit. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward so far. A few more technicalities. Who is the declarer? 
Look at the following option. You remember that the declarer is the person who actually plays the hand and the declarer's partner is the dummy who puts all their cards down on the table. So the auction here, one heart, one spade from east, two hearts from south, two no trumps. The declarer is west because the final contract is two no trumps and west bid no trumps first. Well, it was the only person to bid no trumps. But west becomes a declarer. This one's slightly more difficult. Well, not difficult, but it illustrates the rule. North opens one spade, south bids four spades. The final contract is four spades, going, going, gone after that. The declarer is not south, who made the highest bid, but the declarer is north, because north bid spades first. Okay, so the first person to bid the uh, trump suit or no trumps gets to play the hand. Now, just reminding you of the players, the opener is the person who makes the first bid. Now, that might be the dealer. The dealer gets the first chance to be the opener, but isn't always the opener because the dealer can pass. But the opener is the first person to make a bid. The opener's partner is called the responder. Declarer, who can be anybody, just depends on the auction, plays the hand, and dummy is the declarer's partner. So you're well on your way to being a good bridge player. Here are the rules for today. The opener's first bid, 12 to 19 five high card points, lower ranking four card suit, higher ranking five card suit. So that's it. We'll Next week, we'll talk about what the responder does. Once the opener's made a bid, what does the responder do? Well, that's next lesson, not next week, next lesson.